Well, if you're like most people, you now have at least one or two of those squiggly, compact, fluorescent light bulbs in your home, and you may be buying more soon. But do they come with extra risk, the stores and the government? Don't tell us about it. Consumer reporter John Matteris shows us if you should be concerned about these energy-saving bulbs so you don't waste your money. Like it or not, the government is pushing us to purchase more and more CFLs, compact fluorescent light bulbs, because they save energy. But as we put more and more of these bulbs into our homes, some homeowners are wondering, could we also be inviting a risk of explosions, fire, and even mercury poisoning? Tom and Nancy Heim were watching TV recently when Tom decided to turn on the floor lamp next to his recliner chair. I heard this loud pop. And I turned around and I saw what looked, I thought was smoke, pluming out of the top of this floor lamp. I didn't really see it, I just heard it and all of a sudden realized I had glass on me and we have a couple dogs and they, you know, because it went everywhere. This is the CFL bulb that had exploded without warning. It broke right here and it broke on the other end of it, the base. Their concern, the bulb could have started a fire or exposed them to dangerous mercury vapor. So we checked with the EPA and found some reassuring news. Government records show the risk of a bulb exploding is rare. And it's almost impossible for one to start a fire, as all UL-approved bulbs must have a safety shutoff fuse in the base. But what about the mercury vapor they may have breathed? Last year, we asked Dr. Kim Dietrich, an environmental engineering professor, to break and test a CFL bulb for mercury. Now it's going up to 45%. The test confirmed mercury, but Dr. Dietrich says the amount inside was minuscule compared to thermometers we used to put in our mouths. So it would take about a hundred of these standard size CFL bulbs to equal the amount of mercury in one of these older thermometers. But the EPA does have some guidelines. If one breaks, put it in a sealed plastic bag and wash the area with wet paper towels. Also, do not use CFL bulbs in bathrooms or anywhere else. They will be turned on and off all day long. And do not use standard CFLs in dimmer switches. So while a bulb explosion may scare you, it's unlikely it will cause a fire or any real damage. And despite internet rumors, a broken bulb will not turn your home into a hazmat zone. So keep using them and don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.